Things are about to pick up in Haddonfield. Just recently, we had a look at the Trick or Treat Studios 2018 Halloween Michael Myers and absolutely loved this figure. In the review, I had done some comparisons in sizes of the 2018 Halloween Michael Myers with the other Trick or Treat Studio releases that we've gotten so far. The 2018 Michael Myers, after all, marks the fourth figure that we've gotten from Trick or Treat Studios for the Halloween franchise, and I'm super excited for future releases. Now, of course, after that video po got posted on this channel, I received a lot of questions from you, the viewing audience. In fact, many of them actually originated over on Facebook. By the way, if you'd like to follow me outside the confines of this channel, then you can click the links down below in the video description that will take you over to my Facebook page, my Twitter page, and my Instagram page. But I had received actually a couple of questions more so over on Facebook asking me if I would be able to do comparisons with the 2018 Michael Myers with some of the other six scale horror figures that I have in my collection. I similar, I recently did a similar thing when we had a look at these, the Sideshow Collectibles Ghostface. And again, I was more than happy to oblige. If it involved me bringing out some of my favorite horror figures that I have in my collection to this day, then twist, yes, my rubber arm. I was more than happy to oblige. So we're going to start this comparison video. After all, starting first with the 2018 Michael Myers that we did in the recent review. And still, again, so happy with how this figure turned out. Even if I'm not a big fan of the 2018 design, I think Trick or Treat Studios did a fantastic job, though, on the figure. So, of course, in that review, I had done some comparisons with the existing Trick or Treat Michael Myers. So we can go ahead and bring those in right now. Starting first with the 1978 release. I think of all the figures that we've gotten so far from Trick or Treat Studios, my favorite still is the 78. Though I still like what they've done with the other ones, the original OG, I think, is my favorite so far. We've also had a look. I brought in the 2000, well, not the 2018. This was the Halloween 4 Michael Myers. I tend, by the way, when it comes to my displaying of this figure, I've seen people like Dean Knight, for example, put some additional padding on the inside of their, their figures, just around the shoulder area, just to beefen that up. The downside, though, is it does bring the sleeves up a little bit, so usually when it comes to displaying the H4 Michael Myers in my collection, I usually just like to puff the sleeves up just a little bit. You don't necessarily need the padding, and I like to put them on display, just like I said, with some additional padding in his shoulders. So we're going to bring him in right there, get him to stand properly. Eventually, I would like to get myself some display stands for these figures as well. Maybe get some cut. There's some really great customized stands out there. Some talented artists that are making display stands for six scale figures. And I think I might just ultimately do that with the Michael Myers that we've gotten so far. We also just, uh, well, not too long ago, also looked at the Halloween 5 Revenge of Michael Myers. Which I know is not generally most people's favorites design. Simply just because of the long neck there. I'm still going to have to fix an issue, I feel, with taking in tucking the the, the uh, collar inside his mask because like in the movie Donald Shanks tucked his mask on the inside so again maybe I'll consider doing that but let's bring in some of the other horror figures that I have in my collection I may actually have to pause this video a couple of times just to kind of you know relocate things around but I want to bring in of course the sideshow collectibles Jason Voorhees still one of my favorite things I think of, of all the six scale figures the Jason Voorhees while not most screen accurate is definitely one of my favorites. And I've actually got myself a customized display stand for that, Jason. I'm going to see, like I said, if I can maybe do that with some of the other figures. Let's, you know what, move over the H4 Michael Myers. I'm going to also do some comparisons in this video that I know you guys have always suggested that I do, bringing in some slightly smaller figures. We're also going to bring in the very disappointing, sadly, Freddy Krueger. You know my feelings of this figure by now. It hasn't changed. It still is a very disappointing Freddy. I really, really feel like they need to improve this figure. Give this guy a version 2 release or something. Because up to this point, like I said, this Freddy Krueger was a letdown. A total letdown. And probably one of my least favorite figures that I have in my horror collection. Taking a slight break to just remove all my figures around so I could free up a little bit space in the front. And still keeping the 2018 Michael Myers in the foreground. Bring in some of the other figures we can do some comparisons for. I love doing these comparison videos, by the way. Again, if there's anything you certainly would like to see me compare existing things I've reviewed with things I've reviewed in the past, by all means, let me know. And if I still have it, I can make that available. 
While I was talking away, I also brought in the Sideshow Collectibles Evil Dead Ash, another one of my personal favorites in my collection. Could it have, yes, been admittingly a better looking Ash? Absolutely. I think they could have improved the head sculpt considerably, but not bad, not a bad Ash. He's a lot better than that Freddy Krueger. We can also bring in a figure I continue to comment on whenever I seem to bring this one in for the comparisons. The very small QMX Nun. Every aspect I like about this figure except for one thing, and that's the fact that the figure is just simply way too small. Another Sideshow Collectibles figure that we can bring in for comparisons is the Ghostface. And I really don't have anything negative to say about that Ghostface. In fact, I was quite praising that figure when we had a look at it in the review, short of maybe just taking that belt off. And boy, that, that ghost face look a lot better, I feel, without the belt. For some other comparisons, bring in some of the 3-0 releases. Here he is next to a very tall looking Leatherface. Leatherface, uh, ultimately, I think I said this when we did the comparison video for Ghostface, I think what I am going to probably do is I'm going to sell this Leatherface. It's not a bad for what it ta at, the, at its time, it wasn't a bad looking figure. But, like I said, with Sideshow Collectibles going to be releasing a new Leatherface, I think that one's going to be a little bit more screen accurate. So I think I'm probably going to end, end up ultimately parting ways with it. I'm also probably going to part ways with this Michael, which I never really thought I was going to do. This was the 3-0 Curse Michael Myers from Halloween 6. You can see how much quickly I'm running out of space here. But similar, the same reasons to the 3 0 uh, Leatherface. I think it served its time for my collection when I had it. But I think now that we're getting ourselves what I feel to be better looking figures in the pipeline, probably going to part, part ways, I think, with the curse Michael Myers and probably going to curse, uh, get rid of the Leatherface as well that uh, 3 0 also released. One figure I don't think I'm going to be parting ways with anytime soon, simply just because there isn't other six scale versions of him, is the 3 0 release of Pinhead. Now, my feelings of this I don't think have changed. I wish that his facial expression wasn't the grimmest face that we ultimately did end up getting. But uh, I still like this, this pinhead, even though he's a little poofy in his outfit. And I do like the fact he does have the real metal pins. So for the time being, until we get ourselves another pinhead that looks better than this one, I'm probably going to keep that 3-0 pinhead still part of my collection. I'm still trying my very best to keep the 2018 Michael Myers still visible. As you can see, though, when you're comparing him with the other figures, he is pretty short all around. He's about the same, I would say, as the Ghostface. He's about the same maybe as the maybe the Freddy Krueger when we compare it. Speaking of comparisons, one of the things that you guys did ask that I do... You said I never bring in the smaller retro cloth figures that NECA made because they scale in pretty good with the six scale figures. And you know what? I absolutely agree. So I am going to bring in a couple of the retro cloth figures. I think at one point I did do a comparison with this Chucky because it served to be a perfect size for six scale horror figures. And really, if you just want yourself a good guy doll, though I feel like his proportions in the arms and legs are maybe too long. By all means, though, if you had this guy just sitting down next to your six scale figures, I think you could easily put this guy in as a stand-in for the time being. So I'm going to put him in as well. He kind of goes up to about the 2018 Michael Myers uh, knee. And we could also bring in the angrier expressioned uh, Chucky. Now this one, this one was a retail release. Whereas the one that I just showed you guys was only exclusive to the Scream Factory release that came with the deluxe version of, Ch of Child's Play on Blu-ray. Then NECA followed it up with a retail release of Chucky. It gave us this well, angrier looking expression. I'm glad I actually still have both of them because I would like to still have on display, and I still have to this day, displayed that, that good guy Chucky. But this is a nice angrier Chucky that you can put on display as well. And he's again, he's about the, he's about the right size, I feel. Proportions, eh, not 100% there, but pretty good, pretty close at least. And one last comparison that I tend to put on display with my six scale figures, and I know, yes, I'm kind of covering up 2018 Michael Myers right now, but the other figure I like to bring in for comparisons is the, the Sam from the Retro Cloth Trick or Treat line from NECA Toys. Again, when you're looking at the scale of this guy, he scales in pretty good for the rest of the figures. So he could be a little bit taller, but he's not bad. And until we get ourselves a six scale version of Sam, this is the figure I usually like to put on display as well. So yes, I don't usually use and bring these figures in for comparisons, but you're absolutely right. I think they scale in just right when it comes to displaying these six scale figures in your collection. 
So there you go, a long video. I apologize for the length of time it took me to bring in all of my six scale horror figures. I do have a lot and that, that collection I'm sure will be continuing to grow as we have great companies like 3-0, Trick or Treat and Sideshow Collectibles putting out some stellar looking six scale figures. And the whole reasoning why I like to do these comparison videos as well is to give you guys a proper scaling of how these figures stack up with one another. Short of maybe the nun not being the appropriate size, she's still way too short, and maybe the Chuckies aren't the most proportionally scaled, these figures still do pretty good jobs of staying in this proper scale when you have them on your shelf or in your DTOF or wherever you decide to display these figures for yourself. If there are other comparison videos you certainly would like to see on this channel, let me know down below in the comments section. And also what I alluded to at the beginning of this review, you can also follow me on various social media like Facebook, like Twitter, and like Instagram. And you can find the links to all those places down below in the video description. If you guys are also new to this channel, enjoying all the content you're seeing, and let's just say up to this point, maybe you only stumbled onto this channel by watching a video like this. Well, if you want to continue the trend of watching videos on this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below that you're turning on the bell notification and that, yeah, you're coming back to this channel regularly. We may not always do comparison videos, but when I feel like a new hot horror figure has come out, I do feel a bit of an itch and I'm sure I'm probably should get that probably looked at, but I do get the itch to want to pull these ones out of my collection display cabinets and be able to properly display them in front of the viewing audience. That is you. And thank you for watching this channel as much as you do. Uh, lots of stuff coming your way, guys, between reviews, comparison videos, and so much more. So keep your peepers always peeled to this channel. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.